Turning to the East African country of Uganda, where the backlog, backlog of cases in that country has infuriated human rights activists. Uganda's 1995 constitution stipulates that in no case should justice be delayed because of technicalities. But jails are overcrowded with prisoners whose court cases have not been tried for years. Now joining me in the studio to discuss the situation is Shifra Lukwago, a Ugandan lawyer and a human rights activist. Shifra, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Nice meeting you here too. You know, Shifra, they say justice delayed is justice, justice denied. denied yes. Why the backlog of cases in Uganda? What's really going on? Uh, there are quite a number of reasons as to why there are many uh, problem of backlog uh, cases in Uganda. One, it's corruption that you find it that many judges would like to ask for bribe. Just in any case, they get a, a chance. And uh, when you refuse, they, your file tends to be dragged on quite a number of years. Secondly, they have a problem of lack of funding. The judiciary is one of the institutions which is totally very underfunded. And uh, when you look at the Ugandan budget, the judiciary gets 1% of the national budget, which is totally unfair. And you look at also what the judges and judicial officials get, it's actually very alarming. So they tend to lose morale, and this calls for a lot of corruption. In terms of what they get in terms of salaries? Is that in what terms of mm -hmm. salary, mm -hmm. it's too little for a judicial officer. And also the lack of seriousness of some of the judges or judicial officers and lawyers, they continuously continue to adjourn the cases, and this affects the clients and also it raises the cost of the litigation in form of transport and research and so on. So Shifra, what are you and other human rights activists doing to change this situation? Um, we've actually written as Uganda Law Society, we've written to the judiciary and the chief justice to, to actually find avenues on how to deal with these lazy lawyers these lazy um, judges, you find it that most of the judges come late and uh, they leave early. And uh, when you look at also the time of the court, it's nine instead of eight. So you call upon also for the amendment of the constitution. You find it that uh, the judiciary is supposed to be independent in the constitution, but at the same time, the constitution still, it talks about uh, the executive appointing the judiciary so there is some kind of interference in the independence of the judiciary. So you do not see uh, any political will from the side of the government to try to find solutions and fix this backlog of cases? They are trying but uh, the pace is too small, the pace is too, I mean, there need a lot to be done because when you look at uh, how we've been acting for the increase in the budget and up to now still the situation is so alarming that uh, they are still using the other local ancient edges of writing in court instead of typing. The staff is not enough, understaffed. So and, uh, what about the condition of the prisoners and the prisons? Because, you know, sometimes you see such cases delayed for so long. Yeah. And some of those people, they need medical help at times. Yeah. And so what is the condition of some of those prisoners? Uh, the conditions in prisons in Uganda is not so good. First of all, when you look at the toilets, most of the prisons there, you just can't even use it. They have the meal, they have it once, and uh, that is actually not fair. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at uh, some of the cells or prisons, sincerely, you just don't feel like letting your person delay there, not until you also go there, that you can really know the and situation are we talking that the prisoners about hardcore in. criminals or these are some of just petty, you know, criminals? Some are petty, some are hard, and the pretext that there is no money to bring the witnesses mm. to testify against them. And uh, I think this is really the work of the government to find funds so that they can bring witnesses because every person is presumed innocent. Until yeah, proven. until proven guilty. So if like you can leave a person in the cells or in the prisons for such a long time without being tried and then later you exonerate the person that the person is innocent, yet the person has been suffering under such situations, I think that's totally unfair. I believe there are many looking at you as a human rights activist and yeah. as a lawyer and yeah. your team to try to bring this to fore and make changes in Uganda. Shifra, thank you very much for You're talking welcome. to us.
You're welcome. Thank you so much. Shifra Lukwago is a Ugandan lawyer and a human rights activist.